She had a great, compelling, I guess I would say charismatic personality. Tonight, heartache, sorrow, and shock over the murder of a beloved Sacramento librarian who was gunned down as she left her branch last night. As Amber Clark is being remembered tonight, the search for her killer continues. Good evening. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Sherman Roger. The shooting happened just after 6 o'clock last night in the library parking lot that's located on Del Paso Road, right next to Intercom High School and the American River College Natomas campus. CBS 13 Steve Large joins us in North Natomas with how Clark is being remembered tonight. Steve? This is a gut-wrenching loss for this community. Amber Clark had been a librarian in Sacramento for three years and a supervisor at this branch for nine months. She's described as passionate and dedicated, and her boss says her murder is baffling. It's like losing a member of your family. This picture of Sacramento librarian Amber Clark serves as a portrait of her true passion, making learning accessible to all. And serving people with special needs. Public Library Director Rivka Sass says Clark was a fierce advocate for her community. How do we make the library a more welcoming space? Her murder Wednesday night in the parking lot outside the North Natomas Library branch where she served as a supervisor comes as a shocking blow to everyone here. And it's devastating. What, why, when, who? I mean, I, I, I want to know all those things. And I think we all do. Sacramento police say Clark was targeted. They have not released any suspect descriptions or motive. Sass says the North Natomas branch does have private security on site. The branch also shares space with the American River College, which has its own police department providing patrols. It's not the place we would expect to have something like that happen. A murder that's left a beloved librarian dead and left her colleagues in disbelief. It's baffling. That's what it is. The North Natomas branch reopens for the first time since that murder tomorrow at noon, and the entire citywide library staff will be meeting on Friday to get some grief counseling and also share their stories about Amber. Uh, she leaves behind a husband and was 41 years old. Uh, so, so young. What a tragic story, Steve. Thank you.